Hello everyone! Welcome to our Traveling with Oils class. Come on in, come on in. I'm unpacking a bunch of things here to share with you guys tonight. So, I'm going to wait as people join in. Say hello. So since this is a class tonight about traveling with oils, I thought it would be fun. As you're coming to the class, I would love for you to share with me the one place in the world that you would love to travel. Like if you could go anywhere, design your ideal vacation, where would you go and why? And I would love if you would put that in the comments. Ooh, my RC is very sticky. Hmm, that's not RC, that's vetiver. Interesting. Um, so I would love to see where you'd wanna go. Italy again, awesome. Which part of Italy, mom? Do you have a city or a town? Ooh, something in here, something in here got very sticky and leaked. So hold on one sec. Hello everybody, hey Rachel. Do you guys know Thieves hand sanitizer is so good if you have sticky, sticky hands? Okay, much better. Hello everybody, as you're coming on, <clears throat> I would love for you to tell me where you would travel. If you could pick one place, any place that you could go, it was your choice only. We had Italy, we have the Holy Land, Ireland. I used to say my one place was New Zealand, but then I got to go there right before my 40th birthday, so now I have to find a new place. <laughs> Europe, Cambodia, awesome, Cambodia, that's a good place. I've never heard anyone say that about their one place. Hawaii. Hawaii was one of my favorite places that I went. I agree with you, Jessica. Cool, cool, cool. So I want to go ahead and get started because this recording is going out to a bunch of people. So although we're doing this as a Facebook Live right now, it's actually going to be used, sent out to whoever would like it. So I don't want us to chit-chat chit -chat too long for those people who aren't able to um, to talk live with us. But as you're coming on, I can read the comments as, as I'm talking. So share with me the one place you would love to travel to, if you could pick any place in the world. So I realize that our Essentially Powerful team has been hosting a monthly product education class like this, either through Teleclass or through Facebook Live, since December of 2010. 12. So that's over four and a half years of monthly classes, which is kind of amazing if you think about that. That's a, that's a long time to have a monthly class every single month without fail. And the reason that we host these classes is because, number one, we want to be able to introduce essential oils, young living essential oils, to people who might not ever have never have heard of them before, people that are trying to get the chemicals and the toxins out of their home, people who are trying to have really good standard of wellness for their family. And the other reason we like to do these classes is for those of you who already have young living essential oils, we don't want them sitting on the shelf gathering dust. That makes us very sad. Um, we really want you to learn how to use your oils with confidence. And I can't tell you how many times I see people posting on Facebook about being somewhere on vacation, having traveled somewhere, and a situation arises that they could have used oils for, but they didn't bring their oils. And that's just like, ah, that makes me so sad because Oils for traveling are amazing. They're like the first thing that I pack. It's what takes me the longest. I can pack my clothes in like five minutes and then the oils takes a lot longer. But I've learned some hacks and some tips and that's what I wanna share with you guys tonight. Um, so first of all, my name is Christy Collins. I'm a diamond leader with the Essentially Powerful team. And this class really is just me sharing with you as a woman, a mom, a person who travels. I'm not a doctor, I'm not an oil expert. I won't be doing any diagnosing, prescribing, treating, or curing tonight. I'm just going to be sharing some tips with you about how to help your family stay healthy and stay feeling really good when you travel. And for those of you who have an oil addiction like I do, how do you take all your oils with you even if you don't have a lot of space? Because that's always the challenge. So how many of you guys give me a thumbs up or um, type the letter C in the comments if you are in the carry-on club? Okay, like if you always carry on your luggage, 
no checked bags, just only carry on. So I'd love to see either thumbs up or just type a C in the comments if you are carry on only. These can pose a little bit of a challenge when you're traveling with oils because oils are liquids. So, and a lot of the personal care products that we use through Young Living, which we grow very addicted to because they're so good for you and so healthy and they work so well, we don't want to leave them at home, right? You never just want to go to the hotel and use the hotel shampoo anymore. You want to bring your Young Living shampoo with you. So this is also a challenge because most personal care items are liquids. And now with carry-on, they have the rule of it has to fit in that one little, you know, quart size bag. Look at all you carry-on people. That's awesome. I'm usually carry-on too, except for Young Living Convention this year. Couldn't do it. Um, okay, so what I want to share with you tonight, we're going to kind of work through a trip kind of in order because that's the way my brain works. So we're going to talk about how to pack oils and, and products, how to prepare for your travel, keep yourself really healthy before you travel, um, what to do on the airplane or in the airport or on a train or a boat or however you're getting to where it is you go. Um, we're going to talk about what to do once you get to your destination and we're going to talk about which are the top supplements, personal care, and essential oils that I think you should have with you. Somehow we're going to get through all that. So I need to start talking fast. All right, this is where I turn on lightning speed. Let's talk about how, before we talk about what we're going to pack, let's talk about how we're gonna pack them. Okay, for all you carry on people there. One of my hacks is contact lens cases. Contact lens cases are great if you're taking, say, um, face cleanser, moisturizer, if you're taking the satin mint facial scrub, if you're taking um, like any of the facial art skincare products that you love, um, or anything that's kind of thicker, like an, a moisturizer, or even I put sunscreens in these. And I take just a bunch of little contact cases, throw them in my little quart size bag, and I can take a ton of stuff without having to take the actual container. So that's super helpful. Um, for those of you that really love the new Savvy Mineral Makeup by Young Living, I am kind of addicted to it, and I'm looking at those big containers of foundation thinking, and blush and all that, thinking, how am I going to travel carry on with all my Savvy Mineral Makeup? Well, I'm going to use these tiny little, they're like three milliliter, three gram jars, and just put my makeup in, in these, and then I can travel with a ton of makeup in small little containers, right? I was excited about that hack. Um, if you have powdered supplements too, and we'll talk about these later, but I just want to kind of give you a sense of how you take them. I love these little Ziploc baggies. Um, these little Ziploc baggies, you can put your sulfur zyme in or your alkaline in or any of those powders and even protein powders. See, they're very, very small, like the size of my finger. So you can take a lot of samples of different things from that. And oh yeah, so for liquids, like for the art toner, or if you've got like, oh gosh, anything that's liquid, um, you can put them in these little eyedroppers. They come, I just get them off Amazon. They have little eyedropper tops that you can stick in, put this on, and these are leak proof. So these are really, really great. Um, okay, if you're talking about oils, let's talk about oils for a second. Where is my... Oils you never want to put in plastic containers, okay? So... Those of you who have your premium starter kit, you got these little sample pouches. And you can buy these from Young Living too. They come with a bunch of the different oils come in these sample pouches that have like six to eight drops in them. So I love to take these because these honestly do not show up as liquids when they go through the scanners. So you can throw a bunch of these little sample packs of thieves or lemon or peppermint or purification in your suitcase and they don't have to actually be in the, well, don't, don't take my word for it but I haven't yet had anybody stop me and say that these were liquids. So these, you can bring a ton of stuff. They're really light, really, really easy, and great for traveling. Um, the other option is to fill up the little tiny amber sharing bottles that came in your PSK, put some oils in there, and throw those in. And that's what I do for a lot of the oils that I don't use a lot of, but I just might need a little bit of, which we'll talk about later. Um, let's see. So while we're still on packing, here's a tip that I do. I stress about packing. I don't know why, I just do. So I like to do as much of it up front as possible. So when I'm going through and I'm packing um, my supplements, all my Young Living supplements up, I will do something like this. 
I have a baggie. There's a little label on it. It says digestive enzymes and detoxime, right? So these are like my digestive pills that I take with me. And as I'm taking my detoxime or my digestive enzymes for the day, like two or three days before I travel, I just pop a few extra in the bag. So as I take my supplements, the week leading up to my trip, I just start filling up my little supplement bags. Now, you could use these tiny ones too, tiny ones too, but it's good to just, as you're taking them, say, oh, I'm gonna be gone for four days, so I'm gonna need this many detoxin, or I'm gonna need this many multigreens. A really easy way to do it without stressing. Um, okay, and the last thing that I wanted to share with you about packing is, I just think it's super helpful to get the Bon Voyage kit because the one thing I hate about bringing all of my own stuff I love having my own Young Living products with me, but it can be a hassle to kind of pull them all together and fill up little travel containers and all that stuff. And that can make the packing not so much fun. This Bon Voyage kit is full of all sorts of travel size everything. We have bath and body wash, we have conditioner, we have shampoo, we have bath and gel, we have lotion, we have this cute little art moisturizer. We have the Thieves Hand Purifier. We have lip balm. There is a toothbrush in there, but I actually use that, so I can't demo it today. But look at how cute this is. Little pouch. This thing is a godsend, because you'll have everything in it that you need, and when it's time to travel, you just pull it off the shelf and pop it into your bag. And everything in that kit is three ounces or less, so it can go um, in your carry-on. Oh, there's a dental floss. There's all sorts of stuff in there. It's awesome. So if you don't want to think about how you would bring healthy, healthy personal care products with you, just get the Bon Voyage kit. You'll be all set. Okay. Let me, I want to talk to you about something that I don't think a lot of people talk about. How many of you guys, when you travel, um, are like me and worry about the, all the radiation that you're exposed to when you're traveling? Like when you go to the airport, I'm, I'm the person who gets the hand pat down. Like I just won't go through that machine. <laughs> and then when you're on the plane, so they always try and make you feel better about the machine by telling you, oh, don't worry. It's just the same amount of radiation that you get sitting on the airplane during your flight. That doesn't make me feel better. Now I'm thinking about the radiation in the plane. Okay, so am I the only person that is worried about all the sources of radiation when you travel? Well, start thinking about it, guys, when, especially when you're going through the airport, you're going through airplanes, you're staying in hotels, just there's so much electromagnetic energy and radiation going on. So one of the things that you may not have ever known that Young Living has is something called, called the Quad Shield Kit. Has anybody ever purchased the Quad Shield Kit before? I'm going to tell you what's in it. And some of you have probably purchased components of the kit. So I'm going to tell you what it's for, though. First, um, the Quad Shield Kit helps the body create stronger resistance and prevent cellular damage from the effects of radiation and environmental pollution. So this is really important when you're traveling, especially when you're going to new environments, if you're going to different kinds of, if you're going to be in big cities, places with different kinds of air, really important. So this is something that you can start doing before you travel and continue on through your trip. So the Quad Shield has, of course, four different products in it. The first is Melrose. That's an essential oil blend. You could put that in your diffuser. You could put it on the bottom of your feet. You could put that up and down your spine. Uh, Longevity. Longevity is a supplement. Um, I'm going to just have you look at your essential oil desk reference and look up um, Longevity or your essential oil app or whatever you use to research oils. Look at the four oils in longevity and just do a little bit of research on them. Um, Super C, which is a chewable uh, vitamin C capsule, and then thyromin, which supports the thyroid. So Quad Shield is a really, really great one if you're looking to just amp up your body's protection against the radiation. Now, the other thing that I do as I'm preparing to travel is a few days before I, this is backwards for you guys, I know. This is inner defense. So this is something I will take one of these capsules probably about, usually about three days before I travel, I will take one of these. And then I take one on the plane, and then I take one while I'm on my trip. 
Um, the reason I take this is because this is full of essential oils that will help to keep my body healthy. And we know that whenever we travel, we can have, our immune system can take a hit. So we want it to be as strong as possible before we get on a plane, right, which is full of people, recirculated air, people coughing, sneezing, all those fun things. We just want to like just be super healthy. So I take these before um, as a preventative kind of thing. Um, it has thieves in it, lemongrass, it has oregano. These are all very strong immune support oils. So love the inner defense as a preventative. Let's talk about what to do when you're actually on the plane. Or actually, let's start within the airport. Let's start within the airport. Um, I don't have all my oils that I'm going to talk to you about tonight, so I'm just going to tell you about them. So what I do, um, a lot of people get freaked out before they go through the security. And especially if you're traveling with kids and you've got like a stroller and a backpack and a laptop and a kid and another kid and another backpack and a blanket and like all these things, right? And the security can be very stressful. So it's really helpful if you get your, first of all, your Valor. Valor is an essential oil blend that is really good for creating calm, brave, courageous, grounded energy. So you take your Valor, you can put it on your wrist or the bottom of your feet. You're going to just Valor yourself up to go through security, okay? If you're like me and you're sensitive to other people's energies and just being in the airport with all these other people just kind of starts to, to wear at you, you also may want to grab White Angelica. White Angelica is in a blue bottle. This is really remarkable for keeping your own energy protected from the energy of everyone else around you. And I don't know about you, but like those people who work in airports are not always the happiest people and people who are traveling are not always in the best moods. So you just take your White Angelica and just kind of, you're gonna rub it down the front of your body, rub it up the back of your body, down your arms, your neck, your back, wherever you feel like you need protection. I kind of put it all around myself like a shield. And then you can walk through the airport secure in your own energy and nothing will touch you. Nothing. It's like, it's like magic. Um, okay, so anybody else freak out about having to go through the security and take off your shoes? And then you're walking. Some people take socks, I know. Um, but even walking on socks like across the floor. So what I... <laughs> I want to go to every person who I see walk, walking across the security thing without shoes on and I want to take my thieves oil and I want to take thieves oil and just tell them to put it on the bottom of their feet. Um, what I do is I actually will take my thieves oil. I usually wear socks, but if I don't, I put thieves oil all over the bottoms of my feet. I will take the remaining thieves oil and I just put it like on my scarf or my sweater, a little bit on my hair because thieves is full of essential oils that are really supportive of the immune system. So I want to create almost this like immune barrier around myself. The other thing that you can do, Charlene, thank you, you can take the thieves spray and you can just take it and you can spray the bottom of your feet um, and just kind of spray around yourself, all right? That's kind of my security ritual. First thing that I do when I get on the plane, I take my thieves spray and I spray down everything. I spray the tray table, I spray the seat belt, I spray the remote control if there's like a TV or something, um, we spray it down because that is going to keep those um, just nice and clean for us to use. And who knows who sat in the seat before you? Who knows? Who knows if they wash their hands after they use the bathroom? You just don't know when you get on a plane. So better to be thieves than sorry. <laughs> That's what I say. Um, you can also use it after you use the bathroom, right? You can put that on or you can use the thieves hand sanitizer. If I could only pick one to travel with, if I was like really short on carry-on liquid space, I would pick the Thieves Spray because when you get to your hotel or your rental car or whatever, you're going to want to spray this all over everything. And I love the Thieves Hand Sanitizer too, but you can really only sanitize your hands with it. This, you can, you can also help, you know, purify your hands, but you can also use this to clean surfaces. So I would pick this one. Um, okay. When you get on the plane, um, let's see, a couple of things. I always take a pouch of Ninja Red with me on the plane. Ninja Red is Young Living's antioxidant drink. This is super helpful for every system of the body. 
So when you travel, every system of the body has to work a little bit harder. Your digestive system, I mean, even your skin, like being in the plane and it's so dry and dehydrating. Your hormones are always kind of having to adjust to different time zones and stress levels. Your muscles and your bones, like everything kind of has to work hard. So why not have a lovely little pouch of Ninja Red? This is two ounces, so it can fit in your quart size baggie. And I love to have this in the middle of the plane ride. It's such a great, healthy snack. It boosts up my energy, helps me just feel a little more alive, and I, it's good to get those Ninja Wolf Berries in my body while I'm on the plane. So I love to do that. Um, the other thing that's really fun to do on the plane is to always have your peppermint with you. Okay, there's so many things that you can do with peppermint on a plane. My son, Henry, does not like to poop on planes. Just a reluctant plane pooper. But, you know, when you go on like a seven-hour plane ride, at some point you need to use the bathroom. So we will, he will ask me for a peppermint to rub on his belly, and for whatever reason, then he can go poop. So, helpful. I feel like super mom when we pull out the peppermint. Also, really great for, um, you know, if you've been sitting in the seat like this, and you kind of want to just relax your shoulders, or you've been carrying lots of bags, or you're just like, the seats are not very comfortable, so slathering peppermint on the back of your neck, or on your, your lower back, or your shoulders, even just taking one or two drops and just breathing it in will help to open up your airways, help to give you a lot more energy. Sometimes being on a plane is so tiring, and to be able to breathe in some peppermint, oh, just feels so good. Okay, let's talk really briefly about um, the fact that every time you fly into a different time zone, your body has to kind of adjust and keep up. So what oils can we use to help our body kind of keep up with different time zones? Um, lavender. So this is something that if you're on a longer flight and you're changing time zones, maybe every hour or so you're going to want to pull out your lavender, your cedarwood, and your peppermint. Okay? You could do whatever you want with them. You could just put them into the hands and breathe them in. Cedar wood is quite lovely to put on the back of your neck. On your brain stem is a great place because the brain loves cedar wood. So what I might do is take my lavender. I might like put my lavender over my shoulders and breathe it in. I might take my cedar wood, put it on my brain stem and breathe that in. I might take my peppermint, rub it on my belly and then breathe it in. And I would probably bring those three oils out every single hour. Now, if you don't have those three or all three, and you only, or if you only had space for like one oil, Tranquil. Tranquil is great. This has Roman chamomile, which is super calming, super calming. Um, it has lavender and cedar wood in it. So you're kind of getting almost all of them. So you could bring your Tranquil and maybe your peppermint too. But Tranquil is a great one if you um, kind of want everything in one. Um, let's see here. Okay. Um, Helichrysum. So sometimes when you fly and you go up and down and up and down, like the ears can take a little bit of time to adjust, right? And so you can just take some helichrysum and rub it around the outside of your ear. We never put oils, essential oils, in our ear canal, but you can take them and just rub them around the outside. And helichrysum is really nice. It just kind of assists the ears in doing their natural rebalancing as you're going up and as you're landing. Um, let's see. How many of you guys have used peace and calming on an airplane when you have been the one in the aisle or the row behind the crying baby. Before I had children, I did not understand how much grace you needed to give to the mom or the dad of the crying baby, right? I would just get annoyed. Now that I have been the mom of the crying baby, I understand how powerful peace and calming is. I know that there are people on our Essentially Powerful Oil team that travel with this even if they don't have their kids. I always take peace and calming with me because if there's a crying baby, now maybe there are a couple rows ahead of you, right? And so you're not going to like, well, you could walk up and just offer the mom this. Usually if there's a crying baby, the mom is willing to try anything. But you could just put peace and calming on yourself, right? And then the smell, it's a very gentle smell. It will waft up to the baby. And you will be amazed how everything just kind of calms down. So you could be the savior of the plane with peace and calming, for sure. Um, let's see. 
Okay, we talked a second about um, like going across time zones. Um, let's say you're taking a red eye. You're taking, we're going to Europe um, in September, which I'm psyched about, but I don't sleep well on planes usually. So whether you're taking a red eye or maybe a really long international flight, or maybe you just need help adjusting to the time zone when you get there, um, ImmuPro is really great. We have all our oils that we can use for sleep, right? Lavender's great for sleep. Cedarwood's great for sleep. Valor is great for sleep, but if you really need extra help or if your kiddos really need help kind of calming down, you know, like you arrive, they're so excited, they're in the hotel room, it's 11 o'clock at night, the kids only think it's like 6 o'clock at night and you all really need to go to bed, that's when you pull out the ImmuPro. These are, I, I tell you, I gave some of these to my mother-in-law this weekend because she had my boys camping, or not camping, they were in Maine, I said, take an ImmuPro with you just in case. So they're this size, they're chewable. They taste like Ningxia wolfberries, which kind of tastes like strawberries. What I love about ImmuPro is it also has, mel it has melatonin in it, which helps your body get used to the fact that, okay, now it's time for sleep, right? And it also has zinc in it, which is really helpful for supporting the immune system. So this is like a sleep and health pack, two in one packed punch. You guys know what I'm trying to say. For kids, you wouldn't, they wouldn't need a whole one. You know, you can cut it in half, cut it in quarters, and it's chewable, and it will just help everyone kind of chill out and relax. Really helpful when you're switching time zones or when you're going somewhere and you know the kids are gonna be so excited, or you're gonna be so excited that you can't fall asleep. Okay, let's keep moving. So <clears throat> once you're there, I really recommend you, you get a small travel diffuser or one of the little USB diffusers, take those with you so that you can diffuse purification in the hotel room, okay? Or if you get a lake cabin or a mountain cabin and it's all musty and mildewy, you wanna get purification running through the air so it can clear out the air, smells nice and clean and fresh. Um, you may also wanna put some thieves in there too, especially if you're in a hotel room where the windows don't open, and again, you don't know who was in there just hours before you. So if you want to just keep everything on the up and up, <laughs> diffuse some thieves or some purification in there. Um, again, with the diffuser, it can be really helpful if the kids are running crazy. You can use your frankincense in the diffuser or your peace and calming or your, your stress away and just kind of calm the situation down. Um, the one thing I do want to mention, how many of you guys are going like to a hot place this summer? Anybody going to the beach? Anybody going to the desert? Anybody going to like Dubai or Africa or anywhere really hot? Um, because here's the thing about essential oils. They can withstand a lot of cold, hi Evie, but you don't wanna heat them up. So you don't wanna say, go to Dubai and you know go to one of their crazy adventure places there and leave all your oils in the rental car all day long in really hot weather. You don't want to leave your oils in hot cars. So if you are going to the beach, put your oils in the cooler with your food, okay, in your drinks, or leave them in the, most of them in the air-conditioned hotel room and only take the ones that you need. If, if they're out for a few hours, it's fine. You just don't want them baking like at a campsite where it's like 100 something degrees for seven days straight. Okay, just take care of them. Just be kind to them. Um, okay, let's talk briefly about supplements. There are a couple supplements that I think are really crucial to have when you're traveling, depending on what sorts of situations arise for you when you're traveling. This is my must-have. This is called Comfort Tone. So there are certain people whose bowels move regularly all the time, right? And there are other people whose bowels are sensitive to travel, right? And so it can take a little bit of time for them to get going. Um, or you go to a new place and it's like, huh, like your, your digestive system just sometimes wants, it just wants to kind of move a little quicker than it's moving when you travel. And so comfort tone is great. It comforts, it tones the intestines. And I find I like, it just keeps me regular, right? It keeps everything flowing smoothly. And there's like no, there's no pause in the action. Like everything works great. Right, so I love comfort tone. Sometimes I'll even take it like a day or so before I travel just to help kind of rev up my digestion just so that there's a nice smooth transition. So you would take, you could take just start very slow, one in the morning, one in the evening with lots of water. You need lots of water with this. And then you could gradually increase to two in the morning, one at night, two in the morning, two at night, three in the morning, two at night, you get it. 
just increase by one until everything um, is as you usually want it to be. So um, kids, I would say this is more of an adult product. For kids, you want to ch check out the Kid Sense line. They have a great Tummy Jize essential oil that's pre-diluted for kids aged 2 to 12. Um, or you could take um, Dye Jize, which we'll talk about later, or Peppermint. Those would probably be what I'd use for kids. Okay, also um, if you're traveling, especially if you're going anywhere international, you've got to take a probiotic with you. You've got to keep your gut healthy because we know the gut impacts our overall immunity. So Life9 is Young Living's probiotic. That is a great one to take. Um, the other thing that you want to take for your digestion, oh, I didn't bring them with me. Shoot. Okay. Some kind of digestive enzymes. Young Living has a couple. The one I really like to take when I travel is called Essential Zyme 4. They come in these little blister packs. There are two little capsules that you take with your meals, and it really helps you digest your food, especially when you're traveling. You're eating richer food or different foods or sometimes you're just eating like lots of different combinations of foods or drinks or whatever it is you're having in your belly. The enzymes just really help the belly quickly and efficiently process the foods and get the nutrients out of them. So I love having Essential Zyme 4 with me um, for my travels. Um, does anyone else get a little stressed out by traveling? Like sometimes, especially if you're... You've got kids with you or you're on the go all the time, new place, new city. I can get a little bit on edge. And Cordostop for me is one that I never travel without. Cordostop, it is actually out of stock right now, I believe. And I'm sorry to be raving about it, but I want everyone to buy Cordostop when it comes back in stock. I bought 10 bottles last time. It came back in stock. Because that's how important it is for me. Um, especially if you are traveling and perhaps you are traveling during your premenstrual time or during your period if you're a woman and sometimes you can be a little eh, during that time, Cordostop will really, really help you out. This just takes the edge off the eh factor. Not just when you're traveling, but like everyday life. So I take two of these every single morning and I do not stop when I travel. I continue to take them. Because if I don't, I pay the price and my family pays the price. So, last supplement I'm gonna talk about. Um, actually, no, two more. Alkaline. So, usually when we travel, we become very acidic because we're eating acidic foods, we're drinking a lot, we're eating a lot, we're having a lot of sugar, we're stressed. Um, all the things that we do when we travel off, even though traveling is supposed to de-stress us and we're supposed to be relaxed, oftentimes it creates acidity in the body. So if you take alkaline with you, you can just tear open this pack, drop it, it's just a powder, put it in your morning water, let it fizz up a little bit, stir it in and drink it down. And this is gonna help your body become more alkaline. Um, I also found recently, I went when I was at convention, I was eating some foods that I just normally wouldn't eat and my belly was like, whoa! What was that you just gave me? <laughs> and I didn't have my essential sign four with me for whatever reason. And they had these little alkaline packets on the table in the diamond lounge. And I said, well, I've never tried alkaline after eating weird foods before. Let me try it. And actually, I really liked it. Everything just kind of was settled and calm. It was really great. So I was impressed with that. Um, and then the last one, if you tend to need caffeine when you travel and you tend to overdose on coffee, you may want to try Ningxia Nitro instead. This is for all my caffeine addicts out there or the people who travel and they go on the, the red eye or they, you know, you're going on road trips, you're driving straight through the day, you don't want to drink coffee, but you really need a little oomph, right? Like you really need some, some zip in your step, the Ningxia Nitro. This is great, especially if you're on a road trip. You not only need to stay awake and stay alert, but you also need to be thinking well and you need good mental cognition. So like if I went on the amazing race, I would be pounding Ningxia Nitros the whole time. So I could like race hard, race fast, and do really well all the mental challenges. Ningxia Nitro, it's a little tube, it's liquid, you just open it up and squeeze it on in. It's got very natural caffeine in it. It's not gonna give you like that crazy jittery high that coffee or caffeine would, um, but it's gonna give you all of the good benefits of it. I have a question here about a Young Living product that would help reduce, let's see, I can't say that. So how, let's see, would help someone uh, maybe be calm during a flight, somebody that would be calm. 
So actually one of the promotions this month, Young Living is giving away a free bottle of Rudavala. If you order 250 PV or more, you cannot get it any other way. It's only through that promotion and Rudavala would be wonderful for that. Just to whoosh, calm everything down. Um, and then Hannah has some great ideas too for you, Kate, that you can read. I agree with every all of those. The only one, oh, you, you got Valor. So I was going to say the only one I'd add was Valor, but you already got Valor. So you're on the money tonight, Hannah. Thank you. Um, I want to talk quickly about just some personal care things too. I know we talked already about the Bon Voyage kit and the things to take for like your shampoo and your, you know, like your personal beauty products. But there are a couple things for summertime that I also think are really important or even not summer, if you're going to the beach in the winter too. Sunscreen. Okay, most sunscreens are highly toxic. You do not want to be slathering your skin with them and then go out and baking in the sun and heating up your skin and having all those toxins absorbing into your skin. Um, we use the Young Living Mineral Sunscreen. What I like about this is it's three ounces, so you can put this in your carry-on and take it with you. You only need, like, it's crazy how far this sunscreen goes. This is the one we use. We love it. And it also doesn't leave you white like a ghost, like a lot of the other um, natural sunscreens do. So that's one thing. Then there's the after sun spray. So for those of you who spend a little too, too much time out in the sun or a little too much time in the woods and you get bug bites or maybe you're prone to getting burned by the campfire and you need something to spray on your skin that will kind of rub itself in and you don't have to rub it because who wants to rub something on their skin if their skin needs soothing, right? So this spray is kind of magical that you just spray it on and it kind of absorbs right in. So great for sunburn, burns, um, bug bites, what else? Any kind of skin irritation, scrapes, this is just like a great thing to take, especially if you've got kids with you. Um, Let's see, and then there's the bug repellent, which I don't have to show you because my kids took it to Maine this weekend, but Young Living has an insect repellent that is 30% more effective than the leading brands, and it does not have all the toxic junk in it either. So it's just essential oil, sesame oil, you'd rub it right on your skin, it absorbs right in and works great. Um, okay, so to close out tonight, I just wanna share with you a few essential oils I know we call this traveling with oils. <laughs> Everything I've shared with you, even all those supplements and all those personal care products, they all have Young Living essential oils in them. So actually, when you're taking your skincare, you're taking oils with you. And when you're using your sunscreen, you're, you're getting oils. So, but let's talk about like just straight up, just straight up oils for a sec. Okay, I wanna go back to digestion because again, when we're traveling, there can be things that arise that are out of our normal routine, right? So like when my husband goes to Asia for work, he really likes to eat at all the food carts. He really likes to eat at like the weird random food vendors and you don't know what is in that fried whatever it is. So I send him with Dye eyes. okay? So a lot of people love to use peppermint on their belly or peppermint for digestive Support Digize is a wonderful one to take. And if he goes to the food cart, I just have him rub the Digize all over his belly. You know, it just, it's a wonderful one to have on hand. Hopefully you never want to use it. Hopefully you eat from really good food carts. But if you come across a food cart that's not the best, you may need Digize. And it's a great thing to have on hand. Um, let's see, we already talked about lavender. I'm gonna mention it again because lavender is like the Swiss army knife of all oils. And if you could only take one oil with you, you should probably just take lavender because it will do everything from soothe your skin, um, to help you sleep, to keep you calm during security. It pretty much does everything. So lavender is a must have. Um, same with the peppermint. We already talked about peppermint. Great for the belly. Um, really nice for relaxing parts of your body so that you want to relax, like your shoulders, your head, um, you know, I don't know, your quads if you do a great big hike or something. I love this in the summer because it also cools you down. So you can put a little bit on the back of your neck or the soles of your feet, and it just kind of helps to pull the heat out of your body, um, especially for traveling somewhere hot. Let's see. Um, 
we mentioned helichrysum already. <clears throat> I just want to tell you, helichrysum, like diagize, is one of those that you take with you. You really hope that you never need it, and you probably won't ever need it, but it's really good to have on hand just in case. So the only way I can describe helichrysum is if you have um, blood in your veins, you want to have a bottle of helichrysum with you at all times. Um, and that's all that I'm compliantly allowed to say about that. So <laughs> I wish I could say more. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, this one. So I don't know if a lot of you know about brain power. So brain power, yes, Debbie, peppermint freshens breath too, which is great if you're on the plane or just, I don't know, maybe you meet a really handsome stranger on your travels and you need a breath mint, just a little bit of peppermint. Okay, so brain power. This has sandalwood, cedarwood, melissa, frankincense, blue cypress, lavender, helichrysum. Okay, so this is contains oils that are so oxygenating and powerful for the brain. Why would we mention this on a call about traveling in oils? Well, has anybody been on a trip and either you or your kids will kind of just start to like act bonkers for what seems like no reason? Or maybe not even on a trip, just out and about. Like maybe you go to the mall or you go to a play space or you go to a concert or you go to a new work building and all of a sudden like you just kind of start freaking out. Sometimes we can be reacting to chemicals that we're exposed to, right? Like if we're in a different, I, I get this when I go to Target every single time. I almost feel like I'm going to pass out when I'm in Target. It's kind of weird. The fluorescent lights and things like that do that to me. Oftentimes we are reacting to the chemicals in our environment and we don't even know. Like sometimes kids go to school and who knows what they've cleaned the school with or who knows what the flooring is made of. Um, and again, when we travel, we're exposed to a lot of different things that we just don't even know about, especially in airplanes um, or on trains or things like that, rental cars, just all these things that are cleaned with and made of toxic ingredients. So brain power can be really supportive. Just just to help kind of calm the brain down. So you could take brain power and you could put some on the brain stem. I'm gonna do that right now. You could drop a drop on the crown of your head. You could, um, again, put it on the bottom of your feet. You could put it in the diffuser. You could just smell it. It's really, 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 all the oils are so versatile. It's really nice. I haven't used brain power in a long time. It is out of stock. It actually just went out of stock like right before this class started, but put it on your list because it will be back soon. And when it comes back, I wanted you guys to know about it. So, mm. all right, let's see. Was there anything else? I think I got to everything. Oh, um, if anyone's adrenals like extra support when you travel, Endoflex is wonderful. Smells amazing, it has spearmint in it. it. Smells like, it's just so amazing. You can just rub Endoflex right over your adrenals or you could rub it right over your thyroid. Um, Cause I know a lot of people's adrenals when they travel can kind of go, ah, what's going on? Endoflex is great support. Um, and then sometimes like I know when we're going to Paris in the fall and I've heard that, you know, they haven't caught on to the whole no smoking thing inside. <laughs> I'm a, I react to smoke like cigarette smoke, so I will be taking my RC with me, and I will be putting RC um, on my chest, and just having it with me to breathe in if when we go to the cafes, and we sit there drinking our wine and our espresso, and breathing in all the secondhand smoke, so RC will be my best buddy on that trip. Yes, Laura, you could, you could probably use Genius. I don't know the oils that are in Genius off the top of my head, so I don't know how they compare, um, but Genius is for brain power for kids, so I imagine it would work great um, for adults too. So, <clears throat> any questions? So, an RC, if it's out of stock, you can get it in the Golden Touch kit. You can also get it in your premium starter kit, so you could get another premium starter kit if you wanted. Um, if you are, if you are new to all this, let's say you've never heard of oils before, and you're like, "Wow, those look really cool." Or wow, I didn't, I don't have anything like that to take traveling with me to help. And I'd like to try that for my next trip. If you are brand new, 
um, and you don't know how to get started, it's okay. We can help you because there are very specific starter kits that were designed for people who are brand new to essential oils. They take all the guesswork out of it. They take all the complication and overwhelm. I just shared a whole bunch with you. You do not need to take all of these with you. This class was designed for people who have been are brand new all the way to people who've been using oils for years. So I had a lot of stuff in this class. But honestly, when I travel, except for a few of my like, like Diagize and Helichrysum, and the ones that are like kind of, you hope you never have to use them, but you bring them anyway, most of the oils that I take with me are from the Premium Starter Kit, which is just a very basic starter kit that Young Living has. It has 11 of the most popular oils. Almost all of them were mentioned today. And that's where you'd want to start. Um, so if you are brand new and you'd like to get started, just reach out to whoever it was that shared this with you and they will be able to help you pick out the starter kit that will fit you and your family the best. If you're already on our Essentially Powerful team, you're already using oils and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I have this wish list like four miles long. What am I going to do? What you're going to do is you're going to set up your Essential Rewards program, okay? Essential Rewards is something that only people who already have a Young Living Wholesale account can get access to. And Essential Rewards is the way that you start to build your own collection of really good wellness tools um, without having to buy them all at once, okay? So this is the way that you slowly start replacing out your icky sunscreen for the Young Living sunscreen. And this is how you start accumulating things like the Thieves Spray and your oils and um, your comfort tone, right? So it's basically a loyalty program, it's a rewards program, and every month, as long as you order at least $50 each month, you get points back. I'll tell you about the points in a second, but the cool thing about this program is that you can put whatever you want in. So you could really build a whole travel kit over the course of several months, just putting a few things in your cart every month and buying them. And by the time you know your next trip comes together, you're gonna have your travel kit ready to go. Um, while you're building your travel kit and you're placing your orders, you'll earn points. And these points can be redeemed for free products. So by the time you get your travel ki kit built with Young Living, you'll have all this free points that you can get free stuff with. So. I would encourage you, if you're already a wholesale member, reach out to the person um, who enrolled you, reach out to our Essentially Powerful team, um, come to our team Facebook page. We have lots of great, easy videos about how Essential Rewards works, but it's like one of the coolest parts of Young Living, because if you're gonna be building like a wellness kit and getting your family healthier, why not get points towards free stuff at the same time? That's my motto. Save your money for traveling. Get your free stuff. So I hope that this was helpful for all of you. Before we leave, I'd love to just see a few responses about something that you learned tonight that you did not know before. There's something that you think would be really helpful for you. I, Tima, you actually will be able to share this. So we are going to take this video, which is a Facebook Live, and we're going to convert it to a YouTube video. And we're going to post it on our Essentially Powerful YouTube page. Okay, so if you look up Essentially Powerful Worldwide on YouTube, you'll find our YouTube page. There's all sorts of great stuff on there. There's a video for each of the different three starter kits. Um, there's videos from all the last couple um, product education classes that we've done. And you can share that with anybody that you want, Tima. You can send that link out to anybody that you want. Cool. So what's like one thing that you learned tonight? One thing that was helpful or interesting that you didn't know before you came? I would love to see. I actually have not tried the quad shield kit before. That was new to me as I was researching for this class. Definitely going to be getting it for sure. Tranquil, Debbie, Tranquil is awesome. I didn't try it for many, many years. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't try it, it just didn't call to me, but it's one of my favorites. Use it at night before bed. The quad shield, yes. Abby, comfort tone is like, comfort tone is magic for the bowels. <laughs> the key with comfort tone though is you wanna start slow, start with just one, one pill in the morning, and then the next day one pill in the morning and one at night, it's not something that you need to take every single day. It's kind of one of those things you just, it's kind of like inner defense. You don't take inner defense every day to stay healthy. You just take it in those times where you know that you kind of want extra health support. Comfort tone is when you want extra bowel movement. 
<laughs> regularity support. And the key is really to drink a ton of water with it too. A lot of water as well. Cool. Yes, I heard about Evan and the 4th of July goodies and I'm glad you had die eyes. It was nice to be able to send my son out to California and know that my mom has and my sister-in-law have all the oils and all the supplements and all the things because I didn't have to pack anything for him. I just sent him out. It's great. Let's see. Yes, so Endoflex. The reason I like Endoflex, this is the one we talked about with adrenals, is because oftentimes we want to support the, the endocrine system, right? We want to support our hormones, but they're so interconnected, right? So a lot of times if the thyroid is off, it's oftentimes because the adrenals are shot, right? And so a lot of things, the pituitary is connected to the thyroid, connected to the, the adrenals, connected to the ovaries, it's all connected. And so it can be really nice to just have one blend, Endoflex, that was designed to support every part of the hormone system. Um, not just because that's just easier, but if you're traveling, it's sure nice just to take one bottle with you instead of a, a bunch of different ones. So let's see, oils for camping, oh my gosh. We did not talk about one blend, purification. If you are going camping, you not only want the insect repellent, but you want purification. Purification is like the number one essential oil blend to put in an outdoor adventure spray. So whether you're putting it on before you go hiking or before you leave your tent, or you're putting it on after the fact when you come back in from the day, Stephanie, take purification with you, please. <laughs> You'll thank me later. My boys took, my son took a whole bottle of it up to Maine with him this weekend. All right, well, this has been fun, guys. I hope that this was helpful. Um, if you have questions and you're not sure, you know, like maybe you go to pack and you've got too much and you're wondering what to whittle down to, you know, like what are the, the must-haves, you can always post. Um, we can help you take a look at your list and pare it down. All right. Okay, guys, have an awesome evening and um, enjoy your next trip. Bye.